Hello guys, my name is Raza and today I'm going to talk about how to remove SQL Server answers. Um, I have been asked uh, several times last week, hey, what is the best way to remove an instance? So I decided to have this, you know, <laughs> little video. Um, actually, removing an instance is pretty simple and easy. Um, you know, there are occasions when you have to remove uh, just one instance. Uh, it's easier to remove the entire SQL Server from your server, um, but if you want to remove an instance, um, it's pretty simple. Actually, go to your control panel, go to Add and Remove Program, and you're gonna see a bunch of SQL Server installations. So the one you need to choose is a 64 bits, either it's 32 bits or 64 bits, choose 64 bits if it's available. Right click on it and do a uninstall and right here from this menu you can choose like remove. And it's going to go through its own wizard. And if you want to see it, you can see, you know, it's going to go to the checklist, click OK. And right here, you choose which instance. So in this case, I have two instances, SCCM and Microsoft SQL Server. So I want to remove Microsoft SQL Server. Click OK. And you can select all. And here you have an option if you want to remove the shared features or not because the management tools are being used between the two uh, instances. Um, so I can actually uncheck this one. I can just remove this um, the, the data engine services because the other features are being used with the other instance. Again, it's going to go through with this checklist and so right here is going to go through with this um, the uh, removal uh, procedure. And I don't know how long it's going to take. I can pause the video, or actually, it's gone pretty fast, so I don't have to pause the video. There you go. That's it, and it's done. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you for watching my video. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. And thank you for time.